Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Veera Cloud Architect. In this session, we are going to see AWS EFS and also how we can access this EFS from multiple availability zone and multiple EC2 instances. This is the VPC architecture and like this is how the EFS will located. So EFS will be uh, used inside the VPC and we can access from multiple availability zone. So we need to create a mount target for a uh, like you know specified uh, uh, EC2 instance or sorry EC uh, subnets and then from that uh, subnet we can have like you no know, uh, multiple instances can access this EFS. So the EFS uh, let me uh, show tell me the EFS features. So uh, it is a fully managed and scalable highly available file storage service and we can um, simultaneously uh, access uh, from multiple EC2 instances and this storage capacity automatically like you no know, increases or decreases uh, based on our need and this is how like the even the price you know like EBS we need to uh, purchase a fixed uh, storage size like uh, 8 GB or 10 GB or 50 GB like that we have to buy whether we have we are using or not still we have to pay for that 50 GB but whereas EFS so uh, here like uh, whenever you insert some files uh, the EFS size keep increasing for example if I uh, currently I have uploaded 2 GB of file then the EFS size is 2 GB so we are going to pay only for that 2 GB. Likewise, whenever we increase the file size, the EFS file size will increase and we can pay only for that. And EFS, uh, like you know, AWS is giving 99.9% uptime, which means we have very, very less downtime, like 0.1% uh, of downtime. So it's highly available. And scalability, as I said, like we can, uh, we, uh, here we are using NFS port and NFS connections. So we can have a multiple concurrent uh, uh, connections. So thousand, it can it supports thousand connections uh, simultaneously, and then uh, it's very secure because we are using a ACL to product our uh, uh, data. So it is highly secure. Without wasting any time, let me get into demo. This is my AWS uh, dashboard. So first, for this example, I have. Uh, taken two EC2 instances and both instances located in a different different availability zones so the server one I have uh, created in US East 1B and server 2 I have created in US East 1A so both are in a two different availability zone okay and I am going to show how we can access the EFS from my different uh, availability zone okay or like different EC2 instances so let me uh, create EFS first. So search EFS here, or uh, I have already selected here. So it's showing. So we can create a EFS file system. Create a file system and give a name. I'm going to give a EFS. And then we have to configure it for our VPC. So choose our VPC. So it's here. And there are two options available one is standard, and another one is one zone. Standard means uh, we can uh, like you know uh, use it from uh, multiple availability zone but one zone we can access from only one okay and uh, let me uh, customize so that I can show all the parameters so and then if you want we can add uh, automatic backups so I'm not going to enable if we enable it will take uh, like you no know, regular backups of our EFS but I don't want right now and then lifecycle management. So in EFS, uh, AWS is providing uh, two different uh, storage classes. One is standard and another one is standard infrequent class. So standard means whatever we save inside the EFS is standard class. And we have certain uh, price for the EFS. But if you move the object as a uh, infrequent access, then the cost will be less than the standard access. So that's how we can save some money out of like you no know, infrequent access objects. So imagine like you are not going to access some uh, like you know uh, files for like you know some time. Like maybe you will access that file uh, once a month or like you know twice a month. In that case, we can move that all uh, like files into 
uh, infrequent access then our price would be very less okay i'm not going to choose any of them and if you want to encrypt the data we can encrypt encryption and all i will uh, take it as a different uh, uh, session so we can see in that and there are two type of storage uh, available here one is bursting and another one is enhanced so bursting is a uh, is uh, quite similar like our ssd so that's how like you know we can use bursting but uh, enhanced is a kind of a like you know high throughput uh, level of uh, storage uh, which can uh, be used in a production environment so that's all we can give next and here we have to configure our network i have selected like you know the vpc is already been selected and this is here so like here we have to give our availability zone so how many availability zone we are going to uh, like you know access this is uh, ec ec so efs and we have to choose the subnets and we need to configure the direct ip address or like it will pick automatically so you don't need to worry about the ip address and here we have to give a security group so security group should have nfs port open so i have already one uh, security group which uh, which has uh, like you know nfs port open i have selected that so uh, if you have any doubt like you no know, i will show you quickly how we can uh, configure the security group for this let's go to ec2 instance tab in ec2 instance tab in left hand side pan you can find security groups in this security group like i am going to show you this is my uh, this is the one i have selected for the efs right so let me show this and then come to inbound rules in the inbound rule i have two ports open one is ssh i want to connect the ec2 instance uh, uh, like you know from my laptop so i am uh, giving ssh and then uh, nfs port nfs is to connect efs so i have opened this port for now i have given uh, 0.0.0 or otherwise we can give our uh, like you know the uh, range of our vpc so that's all save rules and then go back to efs so this is how i have created a security group that's all and we can do next so here this is the one i have said earlier so to protect our data we can have some policies which i will tell in the later videos and here we can create a acl policy to protect our data that's everything so create efs so now my efs is being created in the meanwhile let me quickly go and connect my ec2 instances so i have two ec2 instances so let me quickly go ec2 running instance instance i'm going to select my server one that connect loading the key Okay, that's all so ec2 hyphen user is my default user it's connected now let me change as a pseudo user so that okay it's connected let me connect the sac server to this is my server to so if you see these two servers both are in a different availability zone just note down that so i am choosing the second server and i am going to connect with the another booty Okay, so I have connected both servers. Let me quickly uh, go back to my EFS. 
so this is my EFS and it is available now let me show you how we can attach select this EFS and then attach so now there is an option called uh, like you now mount so I am going to use this NFS client option select this and copy this so this is the mount command and then this is the format of EFS NFS4 and then this is the default size of EFS so we have to give this option and then this is the endpoint of e EFS okay so we have to give that one too and finally this is the folder because in Linux we have to uh, mount all the storages with some directory so for that they have created they have uh, given some directory so I'm going to give create a same directory quickly so mkdar efs I have created that one too okay this one is already exit so uh, like for a demo purpose I have created already let me show you okay here also I have EFS so both servers I will keep it like this so that like you know, we can easily identify let me copy this command first and then I will go to the server one okay and then let me connect the server two so both I will keep parallelly so that you can easily watch okay I'm pasting the command which is sudo mount nfst those things so I'm going to mount okay it's mounted same way I'm going to mount in this server as well so if you see this is different server and this is different server okay so here I'm, I have mounted let me show you df hyphen fetch my storage is mounted now okay let me show you here okay so this one is mounted same way I am showing here as well df hyphen h so it's mounted again okay? okay so here also like now currently I have connected uh, EFS with both servers so let me create some files cd let me go to that folder cd EFS and in this storage I am going to add some files so let me create a file called vira and I this is sample file okay let me save this okay I have created a file here now let's see cat here okay so this is the file which is available here I'm going to show it from a different server with a different type of this one so let me ls okay cd efs and then let me show you the files so see vira is here now uh, so i can edit from here as well nano okay before that i will show you cat vira okay so the file is here so let me edit this file nano vira and then second line that's all I have saved so if I come here and let me cat that file again can we run if you see there are two lines added so that's how so currently I have showed around two servers right so here we can add multiple servers to access the same EFS and say the EFS would be very quick and trust me like you know EFS is one of the best storage available in AWS. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay connected with Cloud Synapse, and uh, I wanted to thank you guys. And still, like you know, our channel is growing well. And thanks for uh, your support. And catch you in the next.